In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you and with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, I welcome you to this morning's episode of the Daily Reflections on Uganda Catholic Television this 8th day of January 2024. And today the church celebrates the baptism of the Lord. And our first reading in today's ministry will be taken by Sister Judith Nadunga of the Congregation of Sisters of Mary of Kakamega. The psalm and the gospel acclamation will be taken by Sister Annette Apadet of the same congregation. Let us now listen to the reading being proclaimed to us and we shall have the reflection. A reading from the book of prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, Oh, everyone who thirsts, come to the waters, and he who has no money, come, buy and eat. Come, buy wine and milk without money and without price. Why do you spend your money for that which is not bread, and your labor for that which does not satisfy. Listen diligently to me, and eat what is good, and delight yourselves in rich food. Incline your ear and come to me. Hear that your soul may live and I will make with you an everlasting covenant. My steadfast, merciful love for David. Behold, I made him a witness to the peoples, a leader and commander for the peoples. Behold, you shall call nations that you know not, and nations that knew you not shall reign to you because of the Lord your God and of the Holy One of Israel. For he has glorified you. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way, and the unrighteous man his thoughts. Let him return to the Lord, that he may have mercy on him. And to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts. Neither are your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as the rain and the snow come down from heaven and do not return there but water the earth, making it bring forth and sprout, giving seed to the sower and bread to the eater. So shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth. It shall not return to me empty, but it shall accomplish that which I I intend and prosper in the things for which I sent it. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response is, with joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. With joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. With joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. 
proclamation. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, John preached, saying, After me comes he who is mightier than I, the thong of whose sandals I am not worthy to stoop down and untie. I have baptized you with water but he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. In those days, Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptized by John in the Jordan. And when he came up out of the water, immediately he saw the heavens opened and the Spirit descending upon him like a dove, and a voice came from heaven, You are my beloved Son, with you, I am well pleased. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, like I said in the beginning, today we celebrate the baptism of the Lord. After the Lord manifesting himself 
in the nativity in Bethlehem and in the coming of the three wise men which we celebrated yesterday Sunday as we celebrated the epiphany he had a quiet time growing up in his village in Nazareth. He only again makes a public appearance today as he is being baptized at the Jordan. In the baptism we celebrate, we mark the beginning of the public ministry of our blessed Lord. And in the episode of the baptism of the Lord, God fully manifests, manifests himself and in it, the Holy Trinity is present. God the Son is being baptized. God the Holy Spirit comes upon him in form of a dove. And God the Father approves of God the Son by saying, This is my beloved Son in whom I am well pleased. The Holy Trinity is present. And God is manifesting himself fully. Today's celebration gives us a twofold meaning. Firstly, the efficacy of the Lord's baptism. And secondly, we draw and reflect on our own baptism as Christians. As Jesus, or as the blessed Lord, manifests himself as the second person of the Trinity, God the Son, who is indeed God, we remember in the incarnation, he took human flesh and has become one like us in everything but sin. Gaudium et Spes, which is a document of the Second Vatican Council, says, and this is in number 22, by his incarnation, the Son of God has united himself in some fashion with every man. He worked with human hands. He thought with a human mind. He acted by a human choice and loved with a human heart. Born of the Virgin Mary, he has truly been made one of us, like us in all things except sin. This is also confirmed in the letter to the Hebrews, chapter 4, verse 15. And so Jesus Christ, who is one like us, wants to show us the way. And that is why he humbles himself and he is baptized by John the Baptist. John the Baptist had been inviting people to be baptized, to repent. And today he says, I baptize with water. But the one coming after me is mightier than I, and he will baptize you with water and the Holy Spirit. Our first reading today from the prophet Isaiah, God again extends a universal invitation to all of us to come to Christ, the living water. The Catholic Church, in defining baptism, teaches us that the baptism that baptism on top of washing away original sin, it also makes us children of God and members of the church. So today, we remember our own baptismal promises. In the first letter of John, chapter 3, verse 1, we find that see what love the Father has bestowed on us, that we may be called children of God, yet so we are. The fact that baptism makes us children of God, even though we are unworthy, should give us joy, but also should challenge us to remain children of God. Like I said in the beginning, the baptism of our Lord Jesus Christ marks the beginning of his public ministry. Our own baptism marked the beginning of our journey as Christians. Unfortunately, today, you find that as our parents bring us for baptism, even some parents neglect their parental duties. And the ritual of baptism ends only at the baptismal font. They never bring their children again to church. They never help these children to grow in the faith 
that they had these children baptized in. And some of us, even when our parents struggled to bring us up, as soon as we grow up, we become independent. And we think we are even independent from the church. We are even independent from our faith, from the fact that we are baptized. In fact, today, we have so many people baptized. One billion and something baptized, for instance, Catholics. But what explains the fact that there is still a lot of evil in the world? That there are many people who are still living pagan lives. There are many people who are still living as though they had never known Christ. Is it because Christ has failed in his ministry? No. It is because as people who are baptized, as people who are invited like we had in the first reading by the prophet Isaiah, we have not lived to the fact that we ought to witness to this Jesus Christ. We live like any other person. In fact, you can conclude that today we have so many baptized pagans. We pray that as we celebrate the baptism of our Lord Jesus Christ, we may remember our own baptismal promises and we remember to live as children of God. And then the Lord may, when he meets us, will still say, this is my beloved son, this is my beloved daughter, in whom I am well pleased. This is only possible when our actions, when our words are pleasing to God. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it's now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Once again, many thanks for joining us on Uganda Catholic Television. And today we thank the community of the Sisters of Mary of Kakamega living here in uh, Nyangole, Tororo. Uh, who have joined us uh, to minister in the daily reflection. And in a special way, I want to thank our producer today, Sister Carol. Once again, I wish you a blessed new week, and may the Lord be with you and journey with you in everything that you do. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.